Now, if you fancy grabbing yourself an incredibly portable new laptop that doesn't skimp on performance, Dell's XPS range has always been one of the best around. And the fresh new Dell XPS 13 2020 is a near perfect update of an already fantastic machine, packing some impressive specs into next to no space whatsoever. Now this model here is the super duper top end SKU. So what you've got is a 10th gen Core i7 chipset, a gorgeous 4K touchscreen and one terabyte of storage. And it's sure in cheap at 1,800 quid. However, if you don't mind scaling back the performance, trimming the resolution down to full HD and trimming back the storage a bit as well, then you can get that price whittled down to about 1,400 pounds, thus potentially saving yourself half a kidney. Now I've been using this as my full time laptop for basically everything apart from video editing because it's good, but it ain't quite that good. And here's everything you need to know in my Dell XPS 13 2020 review. And for more than the latest greatest tech, please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers. Now first up, the construction of this 2020 notebook certainly matches up with that premium price tag. The aluminium chassis is incredibly slender, measuring just shy of 15 mils at its thickest point, while weighing a mere 1.27 kilos. If you actually still bother to commute these days, then that compact design will suit you down to the ground. The Dell XPS 13 2020 is one of the most compact laptops that I've seen outside of those Chromebook jobbies. It'll fit into even a tiny backpack or a bag quite comfortably. Plus that metal frame is as tough as a bit of beef eater black pudding. That lid barely flexes at all, even under extreme pressure. And that smart silver lid also seems pleasingly resistant to scratches as well. Not any scuffs or marks have appeared on there after a full week of pretty full on abuse. The rest of the chassis seems just as tough. And meanwhile, that display has got a nice coating of Gorilla Glass 6 covering it as well. So you can consider your investment pretty well protected. And you've also got some nice soft touch carbon fiber palm rests inside, which feel really nice against your skin. Although they do require constant wiping if you don't want them to look all greasy and gross. So far so great, but one disadvantage with ultra portable laptops like the Dell XPS 13 2020 is the limited connectivity. On here you've got two Thunderbolt ports housed on opposite edges, both offering display port support, and that's pretty much it, beyond a micro SD memory card slot and a headphone jack. There's no USB ports to speak of for instance, but you do at least get a USB A to Type-C adapter bundled in the box with the XPS. Good news if, like me, you're clinging on to some of those older peripherals. And Dell's fantastic design continues to the XPS 13 20 2020's keyboard as well, which is absolutely fantastic for smashing out essays, scripts, whatever you fancy over the course of a long afternoon. Those keys are spread across the entire width of the laptop, so they're a good size and well spaced despite the limited area that Dell had to work with. The travel as you strike each key is rather shallow, as you would expect from such a slim fella, but you still get enough feedback for touch typing at speed, while that type in action is nice and firm. You've got two stage backlighting as well, which can be quickly cycled using this handy function key. Very handy if you end up smashing out that SE at 3am because you were down the pub getting a skinful. Meanwhile, up in this top right corner, you'll find the power button, which also doubles as a very responsive and accurate fingerprint sensor as well. As you can see there, just works in milliseconds. On the other hand, if you just treated yourself to a nice greasy donut and chips and that fingerprint sensor ain't working for you, well you got a good bit of face unlock instead. And that proves just as reliable as the fingerprint sensor even in very low light. So far so very good and it's even more good news when you turn your attention to the 13.4 inch IPS panel. This is framed by some of the skinniest bezels I've ever seen on a laptop, maybe outside the Huawei MateBook X Pro. And unlike that MateBook you actually still get a webcam conveniently positioned above the display. And this 720p camera is absolutely fine for a bit of zoom, Microsoft Teams, all of that kind of shenanigans. Although if you're in a room with quite ambient lighting as you can see they do appear kind of fuzzy and grainy. And I don't know if you'll even be able to make this out on camera but there is a tiny little light just next to that camera that flashes on whenever it's in use just to warn you in case any apps are using it in the background without your knowledge. Uh, but it is so small that to be honest you'd easily miss that especially if you're sat outdoors and unfortunately there's no kind of blind and switch or anything like that. But it'll do the job whatever and certainly when I was on the likes of a zoom call I had absolutely no problems with the audio either. The mic clearly picked up my voice I didn't have to shout or scream to make myself heard. As for the screen itself well that is definitely another highlight of this miniature beauty. The Dell XPS 13 2020 is one of few 13 inch laptops to boast ultra HD visuals so prepare to make a mess of your undercrackers at the absolutely stunning 4K images when you're checking out photos or streaming some light entertainment. And good news for photographers and other creative users as well because the colour accuracy is on point. You've got 100% sRGB gamut coverage and just over 80% of the Adobe RGB as well. I certainly don't have any qualms with a nice 
my shop contrast either and as far as the brightness goes it almost hits 400 nits on that maximum level so perfectly fine for working outdoors. On the audio front you've got a pair of downwards fire and stereo speakers here on the arse end of the Dell XPS 13 2020 but even though they're downwards firing I found that that audio seemed to permeate up through the keyboard giving you a rich full bodied sound. On top volume the Dell XPS 13 2020 audio isn't super powerful though I certainly found if I was in quite a noisy room or sat outside sometimes I struggled to hear what was going on in a zoom call or when I was watching a show so you kind of end up pressing your head against the laptop trying to make it out. Now on to performance and Dell has stuffed one of Intel's 10th gen Core i7 chipsets in here namely the 1065G7 backed in this model by 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM. So it's not too surprising that the XPS 13 2020 can basically burn through any tasks you throw its way. I found that even when I was working full time in Chrome with well over a dozen tabs open and I had apps in the background open like the likes of Zoom, Deezer and I was even downloading files and stuff as well it was handling all of it simultaneously no worries. And thankfully this this laptop did not overheat under duress either. I did find the bottom got a little bit warm when it had been on for a while uh, but it was actually felt quite nice against the old thighs on a chilly evening and it certainly got nowhere near genital scorching temperatures. And if you happen to have a deep love for benchmarking well Cinebench 20 spaffed out a score of 1390 while PC Mark 10 coughed up a result of 3962. Perfectly respectable. And you've got full Wi-Fi 6 support here on the Dell XPS 13 as well so if you've got yourself a Wi-Fi 6 router then you can expect a fast dependable connection. However this XPS isn't an all-powerful being because on the graphics front it is integrated iris graphics all the way there's no dedicated GPU which means naturally that for the likes of video editing and really serious intensive creative tasks are right out although that said I had absolutely no problem tinkering around with photos and the likes of GIMP. Likewise if you want something for gaming on the go then you'll really have to temper your expectations. Even recent games that are relatively restrained for resource goblin were a stuttery unplayable mess. You'll definitely have to stick to older titles if you want a smooth enjoyable experience. Back to the good stuff though and somehow Dell has managed to cram a full one terabyte of storage into this top end model. And it's pleasingly fast storage as well. You comfortably get over three gigabits per second read and write speeds in all of the tests and so it's just as strong as most rivals like the HP Spectre 360. And last up is the battery life, another crucial component of course of your general portability and thankfully despite its compact size the Dell XPS 13 2020 performed pretty admirably on this front too. I found I got anywhere between five and six hours of use from a full charge and that was as previously mentioned usually working in Chrome which is a bit of a juice gobbler uh, with lots of apps running in the background as well and this was usually outdoors so that screen brightness was cranked all the way up to full. And that's certainly nothing spectacular it's about the same as what I got from plenty of other ultra portables like the Huawei MateBook X Pro but it's certainly not bad either. And I also love that funky LED strip on the XPS 13's lip which tells you when the laptop is charging and when it's fully charged ready for action. Very cool. And that right there is what I think of the Dell XPS 13 2020 after using it as my full time laptop. And as you can see if portability is your priority but you also want dependable performance and one of the best laptop displays out there then it'll do the job. The only real limitation is that lack of dedicated graphics so it's definitely right out for the likes of video editing. But anyway else who actually finds themselves on the move on a regular basis these days will definitely be more than happy. So that's what I think of the Dell XPS 13 2020. What do you reckon? Have you been using it as your full-time laptop? It'd be great to hear your own review down in the comments below. Please do poke subscribe, ding that notifications bell, and have yourselves a lovely rest of the week. Cheers everyone. Love you.